this is a real nice pitch uh, in a pretty small space, but well sheltered and got the got the rope and the you know all in the bushes and it was a real nice pitch, but unfortunately came with the cost. <sighs> Shredded my rain pants. So now this morning I have an arts and crafts project. I'm laying in the tent and Henry is doing a repair on his rain pants. Unfortunate. But anyway, um, I wanted to update last night, uh, but we were in a campsite with a couple of other tents and I didn't want to bother people. So, um, wow, it's really sunny. Maybe I should be like wearing sunglasses for this. So we thought today was supposed to be like really nasty and it might still get that way, but like, kind of rainy cloudy and it is actually sort of cloudy but it's I don't know it's like a sunny cloudy um anyway we were gonna do this section from Lake Hughes to um Acton over four days because that would be about 10 miles a day again just trying to slowly get back to what we were doing before my foot and um but then we were thinking of spending a night, you can't spend a night in Acton. I mean, you could spend a night in your tent, but like a night in a hotel. Um, in Acton, before the stretch to Wrightwood, because Acton to Wrightwood is, I don't know, 70 some miles, um, something like that. And I just, I don't know, thought it would be nice to like stay somewhere before that. I need to. I think it's 81 miles, I just calculated it again. Oh, 81 miles. Anyway, um, so we were planning on doing that in Acton. We're like, okay, four days, we'll do that. Great, then we'll go to Wrightwood and stay there. And yeah, anyway. Um, the problem is tomorrow is supposed to be a lot of rain. And it's just, A, I feel like it's really, I've certainly done hiking in the rain. But it's one thing to hike in the rain. It's another thing to backpack in the rain. It's another thing to backpack in the rain when it's cold out and it's been pretty cold this week even though it was like so hot a few days ago it's gotten cold again so I was like man what if we could arrange this such that we could be in a hotel the day it's supposed to be really rainy rather than hiking the day it's supposed to be rainy and being in a hotel the next day when it's supposed to be sunny and nice so basically this involved one of two things one increasing our mileage a lot uh which was like somewhat tempting but also seemed like maybe a bad idea for the uh foot wasn't really sure if it was even possible or if it was possible if it was a good idea um or two this is the santa clarita option um we could basically get off and stay in a town um like that we would get to from agua dulce aka santa clarita um, rather than act in. Um, so the, the downside is it would be a day earlier. So it's kind of like, uh, it's a little early to like be going somewhere or staying somewhere. But at the same time, then we could just basically like hike. So it's supposed to rain tomorrow. We could just hike in the rain tomorrow, um, to get into Agua Dulce and then go into Santa Clarita and do our resupply and stay the night in a hotel there. And yeah. So anyway, that's what we're trying to do so that we can kind of have the best of both worlds. We'll, we'll then have to go into Acton and we like wouldn't stay there, but we do have to go in because we have to pick up a package from the camp, which isn't really going in. I think that's pretty close to the trail, but we have to pick up a package and there's some stuff in that package that we got mailed that we actually don't need and some other stuff that we don't need. So we actually do have to get to the Acton post office to mail some stuff home. So and um, that'll still take a little time there, but we wouldn't basically stay there longer than we needed to. And yeah. So anyway, that's our new plan. And um, yeah, uh, we'll update more as things come along. But oh, yesterday also was longest day since my foot injury other than, other than the first time. The aqueduct, that was the whole thing. But um gosh it's so bright I'm so sorry we should do this um we did like 11.6 miles something like that so I was exciting went a little further we're planning on going just around or maybe a little under 14 miles today and then that would give us six rainy miles tomorrow 
Um, again, maybe the weather will change, but it seems like there's kind of storms along, like, in Southern California. I think there's going to be some snow maybe in some areas and stuff. So, um, yeah, that that is what we're expecting. So, anyways, this has been kind of a long update, but um, hopefully it was informative about what we're doing. And hope you guys are all doing well. Henry has been diligently working on his repair this whole time. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, actually, I'll show you that right now. Here is his repair. Using sections of tenacious tape that he has rounded at the corners to make it, you know, a little bit less likely to be peeled off. What's really funny, and maybe funny is the wrong word, but... <laughs> is that just yesterday he emailed Z-Pax because... The seam sealer of his pants was coming off after just not very much use. And uh, so he just emailed them about that. And then that night is when this happened. So turns out that was the least of the worries. But here's the inside repair. Wow. It and looks like a word search. Uh, anyway, so yeah, I kind of. If z -Packs was going to do anything, I, I doubt they're going to anymore because I bet they would have wanted the pants back to just reseal them. But uh, now they got a bigger problem. Anyway. I guess they still could use resealed. Yeah, that's true. You're like, ah, oh, you can still reseal them. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, you did a good job. Thank you. All right. They didn't have tortillas, so major change to our lunch. We got everything bagels. It's bagel time. Very exciting. Yeah, it says fuel the fun. They look more fun. Hey, this Pamela. looks way more fun. Okay. Uh, I have a question about bagels. Yes. How many bagels were we allotted to eat per day? I don't know that we ever made an allotment exactly. <laughs> Did we? Next question. How many have you had today? Well, I thought I had three. Turns out I've only had almost two and a half. So less than two and a half, as we speak. I just walked along. I haven't done very much video today. Mostly because I've just been kind of in a funk and uh, I've been listening to an audiobook. over this ridge. I think it's going to be really windy over there. At least that's what we've been told. But it's a really pretty here. So there's a something today. What did you notice? A hole in the butt. Yep. Of my rain pants. So he fixed his this morning in a quite dramatic tear up. And mine more subtly tonight. How'd they turn out, Henry? I think it was a good cosmetic result and a good functional result as well. I'm very pleased and I expect you will be as well. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Um to be kind of quiet so just one really quick update is that um we decided to go a little bit further than we were going to today because i was feeling pretty good and the tent sites were kind of right on the edge of a very windy field of wheat um but yeah so we went almost 16 miles today which is definitely the furthest we've gone since my since we've been on trail since my um foot thing so really really happy about that my foot has been feeling really good and we're just about four miles outside of agua dolce um so that's exciting and today was kind of rough for me i, I nothing was really wrong i just i don't know i just one of those days you're just kind of not feeling it all day so that was sort of a bummer but Otherwise, it was good, and hopefully tomorrow will be good as well. It is supposed to rain tomorrow, so enter the Santa Clarita option. 
which I'm pretty sure I talked about this morning, but it's, it's surprisingly hard to remember what I've said or not. But anyway, um, yeah, we will see what happens. Stay tuned.